हेलो हेलो वेलकम टू स्टेटिफाई इंडिया दिस इज एस पटेल एंड आई एम वेलकम यू अगेन टू दिस स्टेटिफाई पॉडकास्ट फ्रॉम सीरीज नो वेल विच मीन्स टू नो समथिंग वेरी वेल ऑफकोर्स सो अवर टूडे टॉपिक इज अबाउट इलोरा ऑफकोर्स वी ऑल नो अजंता इलोरा केव्स फ्रॉम इंडिया इफ यू हैव ट्रैवल्ड अक्रॉस इंडिया और यू आर अ इंडियन स्टूडेंट from history science or anything then you may know about this elora caves which is very popular uh, across india and over world also because it contains total three religions buddhism hinduism and jainism and uh, here you can see the amazing scriptures sculptures and architecture from these three major religions and it belongs to maharashtra today's maharashtra and it is not just about history of elora this podcast it's it includes all the deep secrets which are not known by many people or even indian peoples so keep listening it uh, we will try to make it uh, as interesting as much as possible so let's continue with some basic information about uh, caves okay so it contains total 12 buddhist cave which was active during 200 bc to 600 bc and it uh, belongs to south side of elora cave system and uh, if you talk about hindu caves then it's uh, total 17 caves and it was active around 5000 uh, sorry 500 to 900 bc and uh, five caves of jainism which was active during 800 uh, to 1000 BC and hindu caves are uh, located in center of this elora cave system and uh, if you talk about jainism caves then uh, they are located in north side of this elora okay there are total hundreds of caves in elora but uh, 34 are main caves which is considered as main scriptures which gives some amazing messages or popular messages okay so that was a simple introduction of elora caves um, maybe uh, everybody knows about it <laughs> let's talk about some research great research from uh, indian university uh, dr baba saheb ambedkar uh, is the university of uh, merathwad and according to it there is a actually plaster in this cave and this plaster is very special Uh, let me continue about it the mixture of this plaster actually prevented this whole cave system for like 1500 years the caves are breath taking examples of rock cut architecture and stands testimony to the imagination and artistry of its creators it was said or written actually written by singh and sardesai in their journal and their research papers so actually it's true because there is lots of thing going there how these thing are actually prevented which is true so it's very possible that uh, yes there is this plaster exist and actually it prevented uh, this cave system they actually analyzed all these things and they found out that it's a clay plaster in this buddhist cave specially and they have actually analyzed this thing using some very advanced technologies like uh, fourier transform infrared spectroscopy and stereo microscopic studies and all they were able to isolate uh, specimens of uh, cannabis from the clay plaster and they were able to further conclude that it was the cannabis sativa which had helped in uh, preventing this cave system from insects so it's amazing that how can someone thought about this plaster system how can someone just imagine that mixture of this thing will just protect this whole cave system for like 1500 years it's amazing the cannabis fiber appear to have a better quality actually Uh, other than uh, this normal fiber so it's actually very durable and if we 
go for further knowledge then we found find out that cannabis gum and sticky properties might have helped clay and lime to form a fiber binder which is told by sar desai so it's actually research and if we continue to read or study this research then we can say or we can actually observe that they have written about uh, more about it. this cannabis thing that in india cannabis are actually uh now has uh, narcotic properties and that's why they are they have quite bad name okay but in uh, ancient time artists actually know that uh, how useful it is so in 6th century they were able to gauge its properties and they realized that it had the ability to regulate humidity and it would have a key roles in pest resistance fire ret- retardant non toxicity high vapor permeability and uh, all these things which may have kept the cellular system uh, out of insects and this all uh, and this all environmental conditions from like thousands of years if we see about uh, neighboring caves like ajanta then there is actually missing this thing i mean missing this plaster thing so there is no use of, use of this uh, plaster and which explains like why rampant insect actually uh, actively damage it and like it it has so damaged it that or uh, like 25% of the paintings are completely destroyed by these insects so yeah elora gave scott point and they got advanced knowledge of course and while we are talking about the elora caves we can't forget about the kailas temple which is the cave number 16 and it is the main point of this whole cave system actually the entrance of this cave system was uh, this temple okay and it's very highlighted by government also and it is the greatest structure in whole world and it has like very well mysteries along with it okay so we are going there we are going there first of all let's let me introduce uh, this thing with uh, some interesting informations so actually this temple was constructed by rashtrakut king krishna one which is still not clear it's blurred information because uh there is this mystery behind it that no one knows who made this temple okay so but it's said by or told by some people that uh, it was actually made by rashtrakut king krishna one okay let's continue to geometry of this temple this temple is uh, 106 feet deep and it's actually 160 feet wide and 280 in uh, length and this all are uh, all numbers are in feet okay so let's continue uh, the kailas temple is uh, one of the 34 cave temples and monasteries collectively known as the elora caves and it's the uh, highest point this kailas temple is uh, very popular among this uh, elora caves and its highest point is the sikhar which is known as sikhar i mean and it's uh, like 96 feet tall and which is already amazing and it's actually most visited tourist destination in maharashtra it's considered as largest single monolithic excavation in the world and if you don't know monolithic excavation which means a uh, craving some kind of scripture or sculpture from single rock which is known as monolithic excavation it's it has impressive size i mean it's very remarkable size it has amazing scriptures or sculptures it's already very popular among this architectures and all if we talk about main entry passage then uh, there are total two inner courtyards which has which both has actually uh, each entry passage 
and this both entry passage have uh, this gigantic monolithic elephant uh, along with them which is like uh, 15 meter tall and it's amazing architect if we talk about the main highlight of this temple then uh, there is this nandi mandapa and the main shiva temple which are like 7 meter tall and it's built built over flowers and if we see the base level then it gives us a vibe or actually effect that uh, elephants are actually holding this entire structure so it's like uh, craved like that then we can just uh, see and easily say that actually they are, they want to show that this elephant is uh, holding this all scriptures and all so yeah that was all about its uh, main highlights if we talk about the, this uh, construction thing then uh, this huge rock was uh, craved into very beautiful temple with advanced engineering designs and intricate cra- cravings of course and if we see this uh, walls and all of stuff and uh, do some calculation then uh, it's found that uh, this temple is made by removing like uh, 4 lakh tons of heavy rocks in just uh, 18 years so this news or this information is just ground breaking after research paper found out that it was made by made in just 18 years because it seems just impossible in that time technologies and if you want idea how impo- impossible is that then uh, let's assume that uh, 7000 workers are working uh, just like robots for like 12 hours a day okay let's assume that and they will work for 18 years and if we just do some simple mathematical calculations then we will find out that they are working like 60 tons per day and if we calculate in hours then it will be like 5 tons per hour which is like just how can someone just uh, remove 5 ton of rock in just 1 hour even it's not possible by 7000 workers because they don't have any kind of this uh, advanced machine they just have uh, is like just hammers and chisel and all okay so th- that is all they got and they have to do just this craving things and just do work with patience which is like just seems um, impossible there are some mystery around it actually how it's built we will go on to that if you are wondering uh, the only temple is craved from rock then you are very wrong the actually sculptures and all these things are also made by the same rock uh, which is used for making the rest of the temple and the main mystery of this temple is no one knows about the origins the builders and the constructors of this temple so it's already very messed up situation here uh, who has actually built it and this all how it how they build and all so it's very secret thing i believe the entire construction does not reveal any kind of date or depict name indicating that uh, the carving dates back hundreds and thousands of years so it's also maybe they they believed that this would be kept secret architecture of kailas temple is also notable for its uh, vertical excavation which is like just very weird because uh, this is the only structure in the world which is craved like this from top to bottom yes that's how they build it and if you actually go there and see some marks so there are actually noticeable marks about uh, drilling uh, things so they have actually used some kind of steel blade uh, drills and you can see actually marks about uh, this uh, thing and it's still visible actually so they used steel rods to drill things and every single thing is planned so well that uh, there is not even single inch problem in this structure because they have no they have no chance 
to change it by adding any kind of extra stone or piece of rock or anything they have just ca- craved it and that's it that was the final output of this temple and it was like amazing that's why people just get amazed by the uh, skill level of the architectures out there and the uh, workers out there it's just like heads up to them architectures also found out that uh, if we want to make this temple in this time uh, then it's maybe possible to build it in uh, under this 18 years but if we calculate how much it will take in uh, ancient time with the uh, ancient things like this hammer and chisel and this or uh, steel rods and all then it will be impossible to to cover it under 18 years it will take minimum around 100 years so it's like just impossible thing out there and that is the main speciality about this temple which just amazes the people still there is also one mystery about uh, the ventilation shafts and holes under the floor of uh, all the caves of this uh, particular kailas temple which is like weird why they uh, why they need this ventilation system under under this floor i mean who needs ventilation from downside i mean if you want ventilation you can crave from top or you need holes from top side right but they made this ventilation shafts under the floor of this uh, cave system i mean this particularly kailas temple and still no one could find out the actual reason of these holes some people says that uh, there is actually circle uh, there is actually the whole underground city under it and this ventilation holes are actually made for that particular cities which exist under these temples so i mean we can't just uh, uh, clear these facts but yes these mysteries are still exist and if you notice this temple from air you can see clear uh, aerial view of a uh, big x which shows uh, the this particular kailasa temple so it's it said that this uh, this was the created for the purpose of showing some kind of signal to extraterrestrials and yes they made it this for that particular organisms to just uh, spot out this place and there is this mystery also exist if you talk about some damages in this temple then then yes there is some very serious damage happen in this temple and people try to destroy it So actually the Mughal king Aurangzeb who is already destroying this many Hindu temples in his time he actually tried to destroy this temple also and uh, he sent actually thousands of people to destroy this particular temple in 1682 they worked for like 3 years but uh, they could not break just could not break this uh, very major architectures yes they were successful for uh, destroying some uh minor scriptures and sculptures but uh, they were not able to completely destroy this thing and aurangzeb finally gives up uh, after this 3 years of destroying thing it was just he believed that it is just impossible to destroy this rock but the question is how can he just fail i mean if people can build it then they also can break it so how they just simply failed I mean this gives us more such mysteries uh, and one of the mystery says that this temple was actually made by alien civilization and there is some ancient uh, uh, alien technologies which exist there and yes this is the some conspiracy theories one conspiracy theory is also says that uh, this temple was actually made by god shiva which is like hindu god and he actually made it uh with his uh, some kind of goddess power and that's why they failed to break it and it's still still very beautiful and uh, much more 
interesting in this time also this was our just small try on uh, introduction to this uh, secret kalas temple to world and i believe that uh, today's generation need to understand the old architecture i'm not talking about just indian architecture i'm talking about the every single architecture which made by ancient people we should understand the technology of uh, ancient humans because they have already worked on it it's already polished we just have to uh, extend the studies of it i would say and we should make it more more and more advanced and that was the purpose of our this series actually novel and there is actually the slogan which says that because it needs to be spoiled so that was the actually reason behind it so this is it from my side i will see you in next podcast with such mystery like this and if you do like these things then make sure to follow us and like us and that's it from my side this is as patel from statify india thank you so much